everybody, my name is Brenda and welcome to Tangle Break. Today is Fragment Friday and we're going to be working with this fragment right here, C12. It's a triangular fragment instead of our regular square fragment. So we'll have fun and relax with this one. We're going to be using the eight basic steps of the Zentangle method. Step number one is gratitude and appreciation. I'm thankful for the time we're able to take a break from our day and the supplies that we're going to use, which are a three and a half inch tile, Micron 01 black pen, a Micron 01 brown pen, a blue pastel pencil, and a jelly roll, a white jelly roll tin. Okay, so let's go ahead. The next part, oh, and your regular pencil. Okay, so the next part is corner dots. I'm going to go ahead and go in here with my pencil and make my, our dots. Now we're going to go ahead with the 01 black micron and connect the dots. And we're going to make our, which is our border, step three. Our string will be our grid. And it's easy to make the ones for the triangles. And we'll be doing uh, Fragment Fridays with squares like we've been doing. We're going to do triangles. We're going to do circles. And um, step by step, it's very easy and it's fun doing the different ones. Okay, right now we're going to do this grid and split it in half. And bring the line to you. Go over and split this section in half. Split this section in half. Okay, rotate your tile, and like I've said before, I like to draw the line towards me. It just makes it easy. Anything easy during our break, right? That's the whole point. Okay, so now the only thing I have to do to make the triangles is to do diagonals across the squares I've already made. So I'm just going to start up at this corner. And you can just stop at each one, whatever is comfortable, or go all the way through. And this is going to make our triangles. Okay, go to the next one. You can stop. Or go all the way through. Next one. And I just make all the triangles going in the same direction. I'm going to turn my tile just to, because it's easy, and make these going this way, because I like to draw towards me, pull the line in. And the next one, as long as all the diagonals are going in the same direction, the pattern is easy. Okay, so I'm going to have my lines going across this way. I'll show you this is what we're going to be doing and this is what we're going to do over and over again to make that design and it's it's fairly simple okay so what we're going to do is start at the top left hand corner and I'm going to draw a curve coming out from corner to corner I retrace that line a little bit and go to the corner I retrace that line a little bit and go to the corner. And then in this hole right here, I put an orb. And that's it. Okay? So I go from corner to corner, corner to corner, and I just retrace it just a little bit. Corner to corner. And then in this little section right here, I stuff my little orb. So that so it looks like it's squeezed in there. And you can do this at the end or you can do it now. I fill in around my orb. And that's it. That's all you do. You don't have to worry about rotating or anything because the lines just guide you. So 
corner to corner, corner to corner, corner to corner, and then I put my orb in the middle. It takes a little practice getting the little the little arches going here. Once you have those going, it's very easy. Okay, and the orbs can be, you know, they don't have to be the same exact size. Makes it look homemade, doesn't it? All right, corner to corner. As they would say, I heard somebody say that not long ago. It, it makes it look more homemade if it's not perfect straight lines. Okay. Now go to the next one. That's all I'm doing. Every line you see, I'm just doing a curve, 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 and then an orb in the middle. that's it and then we'll do the uh, at the end we'll use the blue pastel pencil and we'll use our brown micron 01 to do some end thatching which is always relaxing to do okay. the design will start popping out here in a minute Remember, you're just arching each one in an orb in the middle. Okay. I just continue to do the same thing. I'm not rotating my tile or anything. Just each line gets a curve. And an orb in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here to this one. Arch, 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 and then an orb in the middle. It's up to you whether you want to do all the coloring of the around the orbs while we're going or at the end. Arch, 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 and then the orb. And it's a flower design starts coming out. Arch, 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 and an orb. Keep arching. And an orb. We're going to do the next row.
Okay, one more for this row. Okay, and then the last row. And just sort of squeeze that orb in there so it looks like it's being held. Two more triangles left. And this one. Okay, there's your drawing. Alright, the next step, and that was it. Just that over and over again made that really cool design. Alright, the next step is take your Micron 01 brown pen, and we're going to do end thatching. We've done end thatching before, and it's just a matter of doing some um, just strokes from the middle of each like sort of flower looking uh, image here. Okay, so it's just, just go up and then lift your pen off the paper. So from the middle, you just give in a little bit of color. I think it's just a, a fun stroke. Let's turn our tile. And it gives it color. So everywhere that you see where the petal comes out, and on this one I even just do a little bit, just to give it a little color. You just sort of stroke up and just let it, let it off. Just a couple. It's just fun to do that stroke of, you stroke it and then just lift up as you're doing it. So I'm going to each point where my flower is. Just doing a couple quick strokes here. So just turn your tile and as you find it, it's no right or wrong, it's just it's just for fun. So don't forget the ones in the middle. It just makes it a little bit, almost a, a shade to it. You can go quick.
I always think the end thatching is fun to do. Just that quick stroke. And I'm just doing it from the middle of each little flower looking section. And just turn my tile to make it easy. And then you see these ones on the end? I just give them a couple little strokes so that they blend in. Isn't that fun? <laughs> And I think blue and brown looks really nice together, so we're going to do the little orbs of blue, the blue pastel. And then the white jelly roll is just to give it a dot on top, just to perk up the blue pastel a little bit. And if you don't have one, or you know, you can always do this with just your pencil. No worries if you don't have one of these. You can always use just a regular um, colored pencil. You don't have to use a, if you don't have the Micron pen, just use a colored pencil. Any color you want. That's, that's the fun of it. So we've got our, I love the, the um, pen effect on that. Okay, so now grab your, if you have a blue pastel pencil or a colored pencil, and I'm just gonna give the little orbs a little color. I think blue, it doesn't come as dark on the screen as it is in person, so. Just know that it's a little bit darker I think blue and brown is a nice combination. And then, you take your white jelly roll and just put a little dot which highlights on top of the blue. Just give it some little attention there. And you will notice that it pops up, pops out a little bit better in person than it does on the screen. But take my word for it. I, I like the effect of the little white dot on top of the blue. Okay, so now it's time to initial and sign. Put your chop on the front. So B, turn, S. Okay. Turn the back. Brenda. Angle break, and this is fragment C12. For those of you that are keeping track of everything, so here we let's put it down here. So here is our tile, and the last step, step eight, is appreciate, and this is what we did it with. So I hope you found that fun and relaxing. Um, that's it for our break today, and I will see you next time on Tangle Break. Bye for now. Bye.